after months of debate, Austin voters have decided and they rejected Proposition 1. So what is next now for ride-sharing companies here in Austin? Joining us this morning is Austin Mayor Steve Adler. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Let's talk about the people who are waking up this morning, and a lot of them are mayor, upset that Lyft has suspended operations at 5 o'clock this morning. Uber says it's doing so at 8 o'clock this morning. Who should, this, who should these people be mad at? Well, I think that the, the voters have spoken. So the community came together as a whole and then pretty resoundingly said in an election with a lot of people that voted uh, that they wanted the local government to make uh, uh, safety decisions and not, not businesses. I take that as a vote of confidence, and now we have to, to work in that direction. First, we want Uber and Lyft and TNCs working in the city. Uh, and, and I'm very eager to continue uh, uh, talking to, uh, to Uber and Lyft if that's something they want to do, regardless of whether they leave the city uh, or not. Uh, we're going to move forward and, and have mobility options in this city, and that's going to include TNCs. But how we get there and who we get there with is something that's going to have to be worked out. So we're as working, it's, go ahead, Mayor. I would say we're working with, with folks in the tech community right now to, to, to make sure that the TNCs that are here and operating have the best chance to succeed. We're even talking to, to some of them about creating a nonprofit TNC uh, in the city. Uh, we're taking a look at increasing and expanding the mobility options that exist in the city, uh, making sure we're not giving an unfair advantage to, to any measure of the ground transportation folks. And we're going to start driving our own uh, driver pool of, of fingerprinted drivers, uh, working uh, with entities kind of like, like Thumbs Up, for example, right. uh, so that we can increase the driver pool we want. So as the ordinance stands right now, these drivers that they want to operate in the city of Austin, they must get fingerprinted for a background check. That's not going to change. Well, that's what the ordinance says right now. And over time, I think that's what we want to have as a city. Uh, uh, but how that's done uh, and, and who's responsible for driving uh, that is are things that, that, that are still to be worked out and so could be worked out in conversations with whatever TNCs, hopefully uh, uh, involving uh, uh, Lyft and Uber, uh, are here. So have they been invited back to the table? Are you going to meet with them after what happened on Saturday? I've, I've very publicly invited them back to the table. Have they accepted? No comment. No comment from them or no comment from you? No comment from me. Why not? Because if I was talking to them, it wouldn't be the kind of thing that I would come on TV and talk about with you. But with all due respect, people right now are asking, Mayor, what are we going to do to bring Uber and Lyft back? Lyft even says on their application right now, make sure you contact City Council. So I'm going straight to you. No, no, no. And I think it's important for people to weigh in and to contact City Council. Uh, I think that's real important. Uh, we're going to be talking to, to all of the, the TNC companies that are interested in, in working in this city because it's important for us to have that option in our city. And we want to ensure that those folks are, accept, uh, are successful. At the same time, as the voters said, this is not a role that the city can uh, abdicate. Uh, in terms of safety. It is important that we not try to to apply 20th century industrial age regu regulation. Mm -hmm. As, as co economies innovate and change, government has to innovate and change too. Is this going to hurt your chances to get that grant that Austin has been in the running for when it comes to transportation? I don't think it should. Austin is an innovative, creative community, and I think what we're doing here is Austin at its most innovative and creative. We came real close to having a solution back in January. Right. Quite frankly, I think that we were, we were innovating too quickly for Uber and Lyft. Uh, you know, they're big companies, and we become a big company, you become a little less nimble and mm -hmm. a little bit more set in your ways, mm -hmm. but, but now's the time for us all to be uh, innovative and creative. Okay, I look forward to um, hearing of Uber and Lyft decide that they want to come back to the table and, and talk to you and the rest of the City Council. So I appreciate your time. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Mayor. We'll see you later on.